I've always dreamed of being in a Unimog and I knew it would be an incredible feeling and experience and it's even more so than what I could have expected. and welcome to Grizzly and Bear Overland. I'm Steph and with my husband Lee we've been traveling full time for nearly four years now. We are currently in Taiwan and still waiting for our Land Rover to clear customs. Good morning! Today we are going for a hike. We just walked past the sandwich place. We missed a lot of this stuff. Roadside food trucks and street markets. It's all here in Taiwan which is what we love. Yeah, you can see hiking. Henglinshan Bu Dao. This one might recommend. After recommending a hiking trail, Arthur also suggested a car for us to drive. Look at this thing! Today we're driving a Mercedes G-Wagon. I don't know what type of G-Wagon, he just said it's old. And this Mercedes is pretty nice to drive. <laughs> Start our very first hike in Taiwan. We're very excited. Alrighty, let's see how we go. Not feeling really fit right now. <laughs> it has been oh, maybe three months and feeling it. Hungling, hungling, Sean. So we lost now. <laughs> ah, okay. Oh, okay. I have a good map. Which mountain do you go to? Um, Salian. 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 Yeah, it's very Salian. close to here. Yeah. Where are you going? Uh, we are going also to the same mountain. So oh, we will right. go to the same place. Ah, yeah. good. And then <laughs> let's go going. now. <laughs> they wanted to look at our map, and I thought they were concerned that we were lost, maybe but the actual deal was they were lost. <laughs> they wanted to look at our map. I've just been informed that that says 2024. We're at 2,024 meters. Yeah! <laughs> in Chinese, in English, rice ball. Very, very tasty. Sea lions. so cute. Did you know that Taiwan has 286 mountains above 3,000 meters? The island also has the largest number and density of high mountains in the world. It was already time to say goodbye to our new friends. In Taiwan, we hope to hike as much as possible. Today, we did 17 kilometers, and it was such a great day. Arthur just gave us a call. I'm coming to pick you up. Meet me at this petrol station. We are just about to go in a Dakar rally, Unimog, for the very first time. This is super exciting. Oh, here we go. Frenchie spotted something. French television. Arthur, how many liters? Uh, 500, 500. Can you pump diesel from one side to the other? Yep. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I want to be in the Sahara Desert. Yeah. <laughs> from a straight six to a 13 liter engine. <laughs> it's a beast. This thing is unbelievable. Woo! How high is this vehicle? No, 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 just 3.2. 3.2. I liked it. That was such a buzz. That was uh, that was like a dream come true. Not only a Unimog, but Arthur's Dakar Rally 
racing truck has been in multiple Dakar rallies with the consumption is quite fast. You can see one year only drive about 300 kilometers. <laughs> <laughs> About two meters down from here, we don't want to fall out the door, that's for sure. You sit here, let's sit here. So okay. No more truck you are sitting here, so bumpy, with coil spring. Uh, very, very comfortable. You can drive very, very fast. Not like no more car. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is very light. You can see, even this one is a ah, carbon fiber, fiber door. Yeah. How much does the truck weigh? Uh, seven tons. Or did you know then? Nine tons. Yeah. So we reduce. This suspension here is just for the cab. Yeah. It's fuel tank here. So this is for spare parts. This is the radiator. This fan is by hydraulic. You can see the current is so high. Unimogs have portal axles, so yeah. the differential clearance is just phenomenal. Higher pressure control is here. Yeah. The entire thing is empty. Ah, oh, there we go. What's the top speed you've driven this Unimog? 170. Oh, was that in the Dakar? Yeah. We're here at Jaguar Land Rover in Taoyuan, I think is the name of this place. Getting treated to a cup of coffee. It's always lovely to visit the Jaguar Land Rover showroom. the new Defender and next thing we were driving a Defender 90 back home. Not sure why but we had fun. Shisha, bye bye. Can't believe it. Oh this brings back so many good memories. Good morning another day in Taiwan. We're gonna fill up the water tank. We got a pretty cool system here. A dollar I think it is for 20 litres. Ultraviolet filtered drinking water. It's nice, isn't it? It's absolutely stunning. Yeah, I think it's a 60 series. 62, uh, I think. 62. Yeah. Full refurb. Yeah. I will put this one in my Unimog. I will put my Unimog this set. Yes. It's useful, very useful. Kintoni Tours. Taiwanese company? Yes. Thank you very much for your generous gift. Steffi, maybe you can crack the box. Oh, you don't need it. Yeah, but it's a defender, you know, always needs fixing. <laughs> <laughs> Unboxing. Thank you, Harry. You can see oh, everything wow. inside. Thank you so very much. It's, oh uh, that's such an incredible gift. Tea nuts, yeah. which are perfect for a Land Rover. Extension bars, ratchet, a oh, little baby ratchet. All of the screwdrivers we can need. We've got our LED, we've got a conductivity tester, side cutters, pliers, multi grips, full set of hex head drives or Allen key, largest socket all the way down. It's like Christmas. Thank you so much. <laughs> I used the Kintonis tour during some rally, such as Dakar rally and the Asian Coast Country rally. Good morning. We are still being very well looked after by Mr. Arthur. Our home being this uh, silver streak, still waiting on customs clearance from Grizzly and Bear. Today we've got a pretty exciting mission happening. We're heading into Taichung City to catch up with some crew that we met yesterday, Patricia and her team from King Tony Tools. Ooh, yeah, I, this car I have modified. Which engine? This TD5? TD5, TD5. Before going to the tool factory, we stopped for lunch. We had some bawan dumplings in pepper sauce and some noodles. Tasty, of course. We are here at the King Tony headquarters. I think they do manufacture us some of the tools here. We're excited to go in and check it out. We've been invited by Patricia. We started the visit by the quality assurance department. Make sure every our tool fit in our standard. This is to test whether the socket size is okay. One way is uh, you can go in and the other way is you cannot go in. 
This machine is to test the pulling force for the, the hammer. What force is this rated to? 10,000 newton meter to separate the hammer. There were almost 20 different types of tests for quality control. Even a unit to check the resistance of plastic in various extreme temperatures. This machine tests the resistance of sockets. The standard is 425 Nm, but it breaks until 1030. This machine here is testing the torque of a ratchet. You even have a quality control on your cardboard boxes. Yes. That's very yeah. impressive. You can check the it's very okay. check. Oh, that's some good quality cardboard. And sending their products internationally, you gotta send it in a bloody good cardboard box. This ratchet will be tested five thousand times. And this hammer will be eat ten thousand times. We move on to the production line. Steve explained to us the King Tony Sockets trademark blue for metric and red for imperial. Below half inch is used painting ring, above half inch we will have a rubber ring. The sockets will go in an oven for 30 minutes at 200 degrees Celsius. Our packaging section. Tony export uh, our products to more than 131 countries. This picture is uh, the, the personnel of Taiwan. Oh wow, yeah. the president of Taiwan came? Yes. Our owner. Uh huh. Yes. We ended the visit in a very impressive showroom. The dream of many. Sixty-six? Yeah. 66 kilograms. Mr. Malay cannot do this. Eight and seven eight inch. This is a one inch top wrench. So it's got a little sensor. See this stuff is sensor operated headlamp. Sensor headlamp. That is so freaking cool. We have a fifty thousand item. Fifty thousand! Five zero, yeah. Five zero, oh my god. Patricia, how long have you been working for King Tony? I work uh, around uh, 20 years. Next uh, July will be my 20. How long ago the company was created? 35 years. Who is Tony? It's not because uh, someone called Tony. Our Chinese name is Jin Tong Li. So they make uh, King Tony sounds like Jin Tong Li. We've heard about Taiwanese hospitality and generosity, but this was beyond anything we could ever imagine. Our time here is shaping up to be very intense. Thank you so much for your support, and we hope you liked the episode. We will see you next week for some more incredible adventures. Take care, bye bye! See you. Yeah. See you. See you.
next week. Apa? 